If you have been a desire If you have been a desire This year might be your year So it was a Friday. We were looking forward to an event that was happening on that night, Azawi concert. I'm a big fan of Azawi. I think she's the best music artist in Uganda. That's my opinion. Artistically, I just love her voice. She knows how to do it. So initially, we first thought that it's going to start at four. We went early enough, you know, trying to find the best part and stuff like that. But then we got stuck in traffic. Yeah, the jam was heavy and we were moving very slowly. But I was still excited knowing that, you know, the rest of the evening better the end of something than the beginning. So I was still looking forward to the day. Having fun, you know, just do something different for a change. Not just walk around, you know, go see how Ugandans party in concert. I was still hurting, you remember? I had hurt my ribs two days ago. I just couldn't miss this event. I'm supposed to be resting, but I just couldn't miss Azawi. I wanted to go see her. As we got in front of the gate, I could see a lot of people, a lot of vibrations, so many people, people trying to sell me ticket from outside. Like, the ticket is 100,000 shillings, but I can give it to you at 90,000. I'm like, why would you give it to me at 90,000 if it's 100,000? What's wrong with your ticket? I'm like, no. I don't like dodgy stuff. I don't like underhanded businesses. I'm, uh, no. I've had bad experiences in the past, so I just couldn't say yes. So we went in, there was two type of tickets, that's what I knew, the VIP and the general. So we paid the VIP tickets. You know, VIP was supposed to be important. You know, I like being important. You too, right? <laughs> so we got inside, so much vibe, so much young people taking pictures, you know, enjoying themselves, feeling themselves. You know, you understand, it's that stage of life. <laughs> I was told that Uganda is about 77% of youth. So out of the 100% of the population, 77% are under 30 years old. Once I walked in, it was obvious. <laughs> to be honest with you, the VIP and the general were just equal. I've got to say it, I've got to say it, there wasn't a difference at all. So we went in, I wasn't there to complain anyway. The party started. There were plenty of beginner artists like singing before Azawi comes. But what I noticed is this is a very well organized event by a group named Swangs Avenue. The lighting, the organization, the parameters, the everything, the food section, the people section. Okay, just the VIP wasn't fair. I think there was a robbery there, but yeah. Organization was really, really good. I was feeling myself, feeling good, music was good. Then I made myself a friend, a white guy from Belgium, with his family, his wife and two kids. They were having fun, they were also dancing to the music. So I asked him, what are you doing here? He's like, I've been here for four years, I live here, I'm very happy in Uganda, my life is here. I am not going back to Belgium. I'm like, wow, okay. While many people from Africa are trying to go to Belgium and Europe, this is the second Belgian I've met that says he lives in Uganda for so many years and he's not intending to go back to his country. He say life is great here, the temperature is good, I'm happy, people are friendly, that's why I'm here having fun with my family. It was just really amazing. The music was great, the vibe was awesome, I needed a drink so I went to the side to get myself a drink. The bartender at the alcohol section was very excited looking at me, he was sure I'm gonna get a bottle of champagne or some vodka. I said no my brother. I just need some lemonade. <laughs> he was like, what? Lemonade? I'm like, yeah. No alcohol for me, man. I'm sorry. We can have fun at many levels while I'm sober. And then we came back and I was waiting for Azawi. We arrived around 4 o'clock. And by 8 o'clock, she was still not there. Like, I was like, whoa, what's happening here? <laughs> I hope it's gonna pick up because I hope I didn't come here for nothing. And then the time came and she popped out. 
the black majestic mind-boggling it was really nice the fireworks the ambiance the people screaming it's something you don't see very often in many african countries ugandans really know how to blow up the artist to celebrate them when they are good and that's something i really appreciate and also you could see how grateful azawi was We moved, we danced, we swung, it was awesome, it was Swang's Avenue, I guess, swing and swung, really great. Then I was hungry, you know, <laughs> me and my food, I don't play with food. You take me out, I don't eat, I'm not seeing you no more, bye-bye. There was a diversity of food, meat, beef, fish, chicken. Unfortunately, I don't eat any other meat besides chicken. So I got myself some really yummy chicken, like really yummy. And to be honest, this chicken was probably the best chicken I've had in Uganda. Very delicious, unbelievable. And I even told Adrian, like, this is the best chicken I've had in Uganda. Like, wow. You know, randomly, not in a restaurant, in a really random place. Great event, amazing people, beautiful men, good looking ladies, everybody confused, together, mingling, mixed, in a beautiful event led by Azawi. Unfortunately, it was time to go, time to leave. Uh, my feet were actually hurting at some point, you know, the VIP is not that VIP. Yeah, so I'm sure they can improve on that. It was great ending, but there's a beginning and the end to everything. We got to go. Lovely event, beautiful moment. You probably will never forget. But warriors. I said goodbye to people. Smiled at me. You know, sometimes you meet people to just smile at you for no reason. And it's nice, you must smile back. We walked out very slowly, majestically, from a beautiful event of Azawi. Once again, amazing moment, great time. I'm really enjoying and appreciating my time in Uganda. I know we're not gonna be here for too long. There's going to be a time where we're gonna have to leave to go to the next country. I don't know if it's gonna be Kenya or Tanzania. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had a good time. I hope to speak to you or see you again very soon on our next video. My name is Zach Mwikasa, the Black Warrior.